Extended warranties. Are they just an expensive gamble like the experts say? Are you looking for an easy way to save big bucks in your next new car purchase and simplify the process of buying at the same time? If so, skip the extended warranty. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Don't worry, we'll provide you with plenty of good evidence as to why an extended warranty is a waste of your money. Dealers and dealer Kool-Aid drinkers typically disagree with that fact and will probably try hard to convince you to buy one. They are all too happy to tell you fabricated horror stories about the thousands of dollars it can cost to replace an engine or transmission. But the odds are you'll never need the coverage. And so if you do need some coverage, the money you'll save in repairs won't come close to what you paid for an added warranty. That's generally always true. Yeah. We featured the question about extended warranties recently on our community page, and most viewers agree with us. The reason the Homework Guy team doesn't sell or recommend extended warranties is simple. We always advise that your first best step should be to get a pre-purchase inspection on any used car. That has worked 100% of the time for every vehicle ever purchased by any member of our team. Yeah. A proper vehicle inspection is by far the best thing you can do to protect yourself against catastrophic mechanical failures and then follow that up by doing proper maintenance of the vehicle yourself. Exactly. Hands down, that is the best protection there is. Consumer Reports agrees with us. Call an extended warranty an expensive gamble. One of the viewer comments we got on that post came from an owner of a transmission shop. Mileage Tech writes, After owning multiple transmission repair shops, I wouldn't recommend an extended warranty to anyone if you're willing to wait a month or two to have a repair completed. Also make sure you have computerized receipts of all regular maintenance from certified shops. I've argued with these people more than I ever have wanted to. Also, there are plenty of times the warranty fails to cover the needed repairs, like viewer Joe Don Baker reports. Couldn't agree more. My mom bought an extended warranty on her caddy. The touchscreen stopped working. It wasn't covered. We bought a new one, and I installed it for her. $1,200 cost. No Ooh. coverage, despite having the warranty. Many people get burned once and never fall for it again. Like Michael Boudreau, who says, been there, done that, and will never go there again. Experience is a good teacher, isn't it, Michael? <laughs> yes, it is. A recent Consumer Reports survey found that 55% of owners who purchased an extended warranty hadn't used it for repairs during the lifetime of the policy, even though the price for the coverage is quite expensive. And on average, a majority of those who did use the extended warranty spent hundreds more for the coverage than they saved in actual repair costs. Right. Among survey participants who used their policy, the median out-of-pocket savings on repairs covered by extended warranties for all brands was $837, based on a $1,214 average initial cost that works out to be a net loss of more than $375. Factoring those who didn't use their policy, the median savings was zero. And that may have something to do with why satisfaction with automobile extended warranties is among the lower rated of all products and services surveyed by Consumer Reports, and why only about a quarter of respondents said they would definitely get it again. The lowest rated, folks. Wow. Conducted by the Consumer Reports National Research Center, the survey included responses from more than 12,000 Consumer Reports subscribers who purchased an extended warranty. That's a lot. The survey covers vehicles built during model years 2006 to 2010, Consumer Reports targeted those years to focus on vehicles that at the time were typically no longer covered by a traditional three-year new car factory warranty. Now onto some reliability and satisfaction information. When Consumer Reports asked car owners whose extended warranties had taken effect how satisfied they were with their experiences, the most satisfied were primarily owners of less reliable brands, naturally, including BMW, Chrysler, Dodge, and Mercedes-Benz. These are all brands that had an average or below average reliability in Consumer Reports' annual auto survey. Interestingly, some of these brands also had the most expensive extended warranties, with Mercedes-Benz owners paying the most on average, followed by BMW owners and then Chrysler owners. Our advice? Avoid vehicles that have high unreliability scores. And there's all kinds of information out there published on that. Yeah. The reason for those owners' higher satisfaction may be that they tended to use the coverage more often than owners of cars with historically reliable brands. Sure. That probably helps consumers feel more justified about having spent money for the coverage, a bittersweet way to rationalize the purchase. BMW owners were more than likely to have used the coverage than any other brand rated, with 71% saying they had done so. Wow. Don't buy a BMW, no. folks. Chrysler owners were next at 65%, followed by Dodge at 63%, and Mercedes-Benz at 60%. Avoid all of those vehicles, folks. Still, even among this group, only around 40% of owners for each of the four brands said they would definitely buy coverage again. Hmm. 
On the other hand, owners of Hondas, Subarus, and Toyotas, perennially high-ranking brands for reliability, were among the least satisfied overall with their extended warranties. They were also far less likely to have used them compared with owners with the other brand's models. Only 39% of Honda and Toyota owners reported having used their coverage, followed by 36% of Subaru owners. Not surprisingly, owners of those brands were among the least likely to say they definitely purchased the coverage again. Less than a quarter of policyholders for each make said they would do so. 100,000 miles came and went and the car never needed any repairs other than the regular maintenance. What a waste. I will never buy another extended warranty for a car, said Honda Civic owner Liz Garibaldi. So how do extended warranties work? They're generally available for both new and used vehicles. Extended warranties are normally pitched as extra security for car buyers. <laughs> You'll hear about the so-called peace of mind. Protect your investment. <laughs> Indeed, peace of mind was the most common reason given by survey respondents. And for many, that may be a sufficient motive. But like good little soldiers, they repeated the dealer's selling lines. Aww. Many types of plans are offered, both through the dealerships and from other sources, such as auto clubs and insurance companies. And most extended warranty service purveyors offer more than one plan, with everything from comprehensive bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage to more targeted protection for the powertrain only or specific components. Plans can also vary in duration, with most providing three to five years of coverage. Not surprisingly, survey respondents who purchase automaker-backed coverage through a dealership were substantially more satisfied with the policy than those who purchased coverage from a third party, with 53% and 41% respectively saying they were highly satisfied. By the way, through the automaker is the only way you should ever think about purchasing an extended warranty. But even those customers were not much more likely to buy coverage again, less than 30% of all respondents who purchase an extended warranty, even when it was factory backed, said they would do so again. An extended warranty can limit the risks of expensive surprises, but such comforting protection leads many owners to buy an extended warranty only to have regrets later. Big regrets. The Consumer Reports survey findings and their reliability analysis underscore that the smart money points to simply buying a reliable car and properly maintaining it yourself. That's what we advise. With diligent care following the guidelines in the owner's manual, any of the cars that shine in Consumer Reports reliability ratings should improve your odds of virtually trouble-free driving without spending thousands on an extended warranty. I say, instead of buying the warranty, invest that money in an interest-bearing account. Sure. That way, you'll have an emergency cash fund if a post-warranty problem does arise. And if your car doesn't need pricey repairs, you'll already have the money saved up for a down payment on your next car. There you go. Also, the extended warranty business is full of fraudsters. Indeed. Never ever respond to solicitations to buy an extended warranty in the mail and do not believe claims by people that they have a good product just because they pose as consumer advisors. This is one subject you'll never see covered by some creators for very obvious reasons. They'd have to admit there's a problem. If you do decide to buy a coverage plan, don't buy it under pressure sitting at a dealership. Sure. Dealers often try to sell the convenience of rolling coverage into a new car loan, but that means that you'll be paying upfront for coverage that you could already have with the factory warranty. Sure. Also, don't be afraid to bargain. Among those who purchased an extended warranty, only a third of survey respondents tried to negotiate a better price for their contract. Most of those who did haggle were successful, saving a decent amount of money on average. You can take it down about 60% of the asking price. And definitely read the small print. Before signing, be sure you understand what is covered and where you can take your car for authorized service. Third-party warranties especially may have notable restrictions on approved shops. Given how many dealerships have closed in recent years, the availability of participating repair shops yeah. is a particular concern. A special thanks to Consumer Reports for a totally honest perspective on extended warranties. If you'd like to show us some love for producing quality car market updates and honest car buying advice videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in that description box down below, PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. There's also the super thanks button down below the video. To be clear, we're not begging anyone for a tip, not even close. Our tip system was suggested to us by our viewing audience. Generous people ask for a way to donate to support our mission. But you know what? If a tip is an option for you right now, there's no need whatsoever for you to join the donor crowd. Just show us some love by subscribing and recommending our videos to your family and friends. We thank you for that. Yes, we thank you for that. 
I also want to remind our viewers that we'll provide free black book values for a vehicle you're shopping for or the vehicle you'd like to trade in. You can text us at 701-441-3399 or email us kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and you'll get an immediate auto response with a roadmap to a successful car deal. If you're out walking the car lots right now, make sure you see Kevin's whole playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyer's Homework Cram Session. Join the thousands of people who have already done that. And if you happen to be on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. It's loaded up with free resources for car buyers and we now offer a blog there too. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get the notifications. Join the fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.